So moving charges in a magnetic field come in the form of currents passing through a wire. A current is an amount of charge flowing per unit time. If, for example, the magnetic field in this picture was pointing straight and up out of the page, the current in this picture would, ch would feel a magnetic force because it consists of a bunch of moving charges with a certain velocity v. The moving charges should experience a force and if we imagine a, an element of charge, delta Q, that's in a certain length of the wire, delta X, then the force on that little L piece of charge, delta Q, should be delta Q times V cross B. For the current shown in this picture by that right hand rule, when the delta X points straight up in this picture and B points out of the page, then by the right hand rule the force F points straight to the right. A velocity is a delta X in a delta T. So we may write V as delta X divided by delta T. We can move the delta T underneath delta Q and we have a delta Q times de divided by delta T times delta X cross B. Delta Q over delta T, the amount of current per unit time, is otherwise known as the current. Excuse me, the amount of charge per unit time is otherwise known as the current. And so this force is I times delta X cross B for that on that piece of the wire, delta X. For a long straight wire, you should remember the formula that the, form the force on that wire is I times the length cross hit product into the, the B field, where length in this case is a vector that points along the direction of the motion of the current. This force is sometimes known as the Lorentz force after Henrik Lorentz, a Dutch physicist. When electric charge travels in a magnetic field, it experiences a force called the Lorentz force. If it's a single charge, quantity of, of magnitude Q traveling with a speed V in a magnetic field B, the magnitude of the force is Q V B, provided that V and B are perpendicular to each other. In that case, the force will be per 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 perpendicular to both of those as well. If the charge consists of charge moving in a current through a wire, for example, then the magnitude of the force is I, the current, times L, the length of the bit of current that we're looking at, times B, the magnetic field. The direction of this, and we have today a uh, magnet set up. Here's the North Pole, so B is pointing in that direction. This is hooked up to a power supply that can generate a large current. The current will be traveling towards the camera. The direction of that force will be in the direction of I. Put your fingers in the direction of I towards the camera. Slap in the direction of the magnetic field and the thumb shows the direction of the force. So, if I turn this guy on, the wire should feel the force lifting it up and out of the magnet. I'll do that again. Now, if I change the direction of current, and I can do that by swapping these two leads, and I try it again, the wire is being pulled down. I'm going to hold this up and see if you can see the force acting on it as it's being pulled down. This force is called the Lorentz force. Uh, I can get a sufficient current to make a sizable force only if I have a large current supply of the order of 25 amps. For goodness sakes, don't do this at home, particularly if you don't have a good workhorse like this one.